is the 2023 annual general meeting Mbakondialo held on Saturday, December 30 at the St. Mary's Churchfield Alo. The meeting is the first since the assumption of office of Chief Emma Ojuku Abuigwa Alo as the President General of Alo People's Convention, APC. The women hit the ground running with prayers and special songs for God Almighty to take control and charge of the day's activities and the land of Allah. He was right. 
Mama, Sikahani, the Jeretuna Hatches. Papa, shoot them with your arm. That they can never speak again. They won't move again. Their proconsul will never stand because it is not of the Lord. I'm a poor there can never be number two. So every in the hammer, oh, tell them more need about an even match. When I see a Habu Goloyat, I for years, I have one and all, all the Hawaiian and all. When I tell you, you go so, you guys go so, or when I fight against you. In the name of the Lord whom you have to fight. Therefore, we fight you. Because we will soon get by. Amen. And we soak the lives of our children with the blood of Jesus. And when we grow and we never win. They will be like a plant. Planted behind the rivers. They will bear fruit. More upliftment in the name of Jesus. We are not scared of mortal man because we know we have a God whose word is final. I bring the PG before you, Lord. Amen. They can never locate him in the name of Jesus. Amen. They can never locate his family in the name of Jesus. Amen. Their manipulation will not stand in Jesus' name. Amen. March passed by the women, then took the center stage. Now is the time for presidential address. We are Chief Ima Ojuku, presented scorecard of his administration since February 11, 2023, when he was sworn in as the President General. I would like to begin by expressing my delight to be here with members of the Executive Council of our People's Convention, APC, on whom we have I welcome you all to the 2023 Annual General Meeting, Makawa. I thank God for making it possible for us to all gather here. And for me, it is a high privilege to address this gathering for the first time as the President General of our People's Convention. On this note, I say a very big welcome to all of us. 
Our election for executive council of our post convention was held on Sunday, 11 February 2023. We, the executive members of convention, were returned elected, safe for post of vice president and secretary general, which were not held on that day. We were sworn into office Sunday, and the letter of recognition dated 23 February 2023 was issued to us by Anambra State Government. Permit me to use this medium to stand for my predecessor, my brother, my good friend, the President General Emeritus, Chief Sir Uzoma Ibongwa, Okifalo, and his team. Okifay and his team started from the scratch rebuilding our law in every facet after a total destruction of our institutions and infrastructures by the years of caretaker regime. And they handed over the pattern to us from where we continued on behalf of good people of God. Mark my word, good people of God. I salute you. We took off on the pedestal, on the pedestal foundation, laid down by my predecessor, and we have made some modest progress. I am glad to report to you some of the progress I have made with the help and the contributions of our sons and daughters. Since February 2023, we came into office. Among the highlights of the address were infrastructural maintenance and development in the town, which include, but not limited to, new borehole and pipeline water at Nkwa Alo, repair and reconstruction of drainage cum flood channels, repair of damaged portions of roads and filling of potholes. <laughs> Other achievements include visit by Anambra State Erosion Management Agency, palliatives from the state government, which he notes now gets to the targeted people in the grassroots, closure of illegal and unlicensed hospitals and health facilities in Alotan, provision of trader money plus more. Infrastructure maintenance and development in the market facility. Every one of them, 30,000 naira. Hey! I want to eat tea. Get whatever I want. You know what I want to do? I want to eat tea. 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 And I want to eat tea. 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 The meeting afforded participants opportunity to ask questions and sought clarifications in some gray areas, as well as chart the way forward for a law. Then came an address by the woman president general, Lady Ifoma Ozokwe. She appreciated the people of a law for finding her worthy to man the exalted position. I am most delighted to read this address to my beautiful people of Alo. After being elected as the President General of Inyoma Alo Women, the election that brought me to the exalted office of President General Inyoma took place on the 9th of September, 2023. It was done according to God's instruction 
and was free and fair to the glory of God. I'm using this opportunity to express my heartfelt gratitude to our women and all the beautiful people of our Lord because they all supported my candidature. I am grateful to you all. My prayer is that God will bless all our Lord people, both home and abroad, and make us to foster love and peace amongst ourselves because it is us that will experience the needed progress in our town, more so that our law must be one and indivisible and that the love of God will encompass us around. She speaks more on her vision for the community. As part of our charity and social intervention program, our welfare team will have activities like monthly visits for the elderly and housebound, medical outreach, nutrition outreach, etc., across all the various villages in our law. We have reached also a conclusion of where to construct a recreation center for the elderly, where they will be coming to exchange pleasantries and play together every Nkwa market day. The meeting climaxed with message from Ezedio Rama as the cabinet chiefs mounted the stage to declare a word against what they described as forces of darkness in a lot town. <laughs> We are okay with the function and the achievements done by the new government in Abba, headed by Chief Imao Juku and the way of Abba. We have taken stock, we will see all the achievements done. What were the achievements and we thank God for that. You know, it's always a challenge to get somebody with the zeal, with the commitment, with the passion. And somehow God always answers our prayer. And in Imojuku, my successor, we found a committed man. He's doing great, he's doing wonderful jobs. And our prayers is that he's going to do more than I have done. So, convention started out being a meeting where all our people will gather every 30th of December. But it has metamorphosed to what is called Allo Day. And you can see how everybody, look at how relaxed, the whole place is filled up, everybody is happy, we are eating and drinking together, we are jollificating. I can only say Happy New Year to Allo people. Then came launching of the new traditional dance, Umwebube, 8th grade, Allo. 